of you are going to college or plan to? And are there any that don't? It's okay, you can raise your hand. <laughs> okay. Many high school graduates feel compelled to go to college because from a young age we're taught that's the main goal along the road. According to 2.ed.gov, 46% of graduates were placed in jobs that don't even require a degree. Now, instead of wasting money on a degree, I feel that students need an alternative solution for this. Now, with our growing economy, we need technicians, we need people to upgrade software, install, and repair things. Also, it's already really hard to find a skilled electrician or plumber in our economy, and this brings us to a solution. We need vocational technical education. Now, this is basically just where you go and get um, education on your career alone. It's one-on-one. -on -one. You can also get on-the-job training, and it's paid, so you're getting paid to basically go to school and learn for your career instead of going to college and spending all this money. And I would like for all of you to imagine every person in the United States is required to go to college. Now, as of 2015, there were 321 million people in the U.S., according to worldmeters.info. And now, 64% of jobs in the U.S. don't even require a degree. So let's take 64% of 321 million. That puts us at about 205 million people that go to college and don't even use their degree. And so all these people are going to college and not using their degree. And our total U.S. student loan debt in the United States is already 1.26 trillion. Can you imagine how much that amount would skyrocket? And also, people who don't go to college, they're often looked down on, and people call them losers, or it's put in a bad light or a negative situation, and that's not true at all. Most people who don't have a degree actually make more than people with a degree. And we all sit here today knowing what's in store, while others don't, and from what you guys told me earlier, all of us plan on going to college while Aaron plans not to, and that's perfectly fine, but all of you should know that college isn't necessary to be successful later in life. It's not going to be detrimental to your future. And a lot of students that are in high school don't even know if they have the money to go to college, so there are, there are alternatives where you can save money and still have a nice career and make more money than even college graduates make. And most students aren't educated on what jobs are out there, um, so the parents aren't really a good place to go to get information on what careers you can do and what careers require a degree and which ones don't. You can Go online, there's tons of information. You can also talk to your guidance counselors, like we have Sarah down in the office. She helps us out with a lot of stuff, all of our questions. And just college is not necessary for success. There are alternatives, um, not even just the technical vocational schooling. Um, you can go into certain places, like I worked at RDI, and they train you on the job. You get paid for your training. I worked eight to five every day and I got paid just to learn how to do my job. So you can get paid to learn how to do your different skills. mostly like laborous skills like it's not necessarily hard labor but like I mentioned the technicians plumbers um, and things like that and how I mentioned what where I was working that's like telemarketing so there are tons of jobs out there like that where it's just you don't have to have a degree to do it. Uh, do you know
Um, from me looking at colleges, like some colleges have 80% of students who went into this career found jobs in their field. So when you actually go to college and you get a degree, um, there are good chances that you're going to be placed in that field. But there, are, like I had mentioned, 64% of jobs in the United States don't even require a degree. So like I was just saying in a broad spectrum, if every single person went, there's a huge majority of people that wouldn't even have a degree that would be applicable to anything that they're going to be doing. Uh, we heard just the other day about how these high school level jobs are decreasing. Um, so just being able to get hired with a high school diploma. Um, and so even these trades that you're mentioning now require some type of schooling. So what do you say to, I don't know, that trend, I guess? You mean like after you graduate and having a high school? Right, so like Brooke was giving a speech the other day about how you kind of need to have some kind of degree to get a job unless you want to kind of earn minimum wage type of job. So I don't know, what do you say to the kind of the opposition, I guess, to your stance? Well, there are those entry level jobs, but there are also the jobs where um, like you do on the job training and obviously you don't need a degree for that. Mm -hmm. And um, so when you go in there, you have your high school degree and you don't have to have any college. So the amount of jobs that don't require a degree may be going down, but they're still going to be needed. So there's always going to be that alternative for a student who can't afford college or like doesn't necessarily want to go to college. Okay. All right, jump.